Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Leechy, and welcome back to another player ratings of video. Um, this is another one where we're just going to look at two teams, as you can see in the title in the top left. Um, we're going to look at Manchester United and Manchester City. Okay, we're going to start off with Manchester United because they came second last season. I'm going to work my way up the table, sort of, but from second to first. In goal, David De Gea. He's getting a bit of a downgrade for next season. Down to a 78, and most of his stats are going down as well. Apart from his reflexes are going up. His uh, handling has dropped from mid-80s down all the way down to 73. And you can understand it. I think he had a bit of a shocker, to be honest. But around the middle of the season and the end of the season, he managed to keep himself quiet. And I guess that's all he wanted to do, really, for the end of the season after the shocking start he had. Um, Raphael has been upgraded to a 77. Um, 84 pace, pretty much the same as last year, to be honest, reading his stats. Um, nothing really to report there. Nemanja Vidic is pretty much the same as last season as well, but his pace has gone down a little bit. But his defending and heading, I think, have been knocked up um, one or two. Rio Ferdinand has been dropped all the way down from an 87 to an 84 overall. And I think that's justified. To be honest, I think he's lucky to get an 84. Um, 84 defending on his card. 62 pace. Uh, he's not really going to be a player that anyone's going to particularly want that much for next season. Um, Patrice Evra has been downgraded all the way down to a 79 pace player. Um, I'm not too sure what his overall was last year. I think he was an 85 and now he's an 84. Um, pretty good defending and heading stats though on him and his dribbling is not too bad either. Um, Antonio Valencia, 90 pace on his card. Um, bit of a shocker really. He's in form. I'm sure he had like 96 pace. So um, to be dropped all the way down is a bit weird. But he's got 82 dribbling, um, 79 passing. So it's a pretty good card that he's going to have there. Paul Scholes will be an 81 overall, 54 pace, 78 shot, 88 passing. Um, yeah, that's all you really want to know about him. Michael Carrick, 83 passing is the pick of his stats. All the rest are pretty meh. Um, Kagawa gets a downgrade from last year after his move to the Premier League. He will only have 83 pace and uh, he will have 88 dribbling, 72 shot. Um, pretty solid centre midfielder. I think he'll have four star skill as well. Um, Ashley Young, what a downgrade. This guy's got 86 all the way down to an 82. Um, 89 pace as well. That's a big downgrade on his pace. His dribbling is still pretty high though. And he will have four star skill. Wayne Rooney will be an 89 overall player this season. 82 pace, 88 shot, 82 passing, 83 dribbling and 81 heading. He will be one of the, he'll be a 100k player from most of FIFA. Because them stats are absolutely incredible. Danny Welbeck, finally a card that is, um, Kind of does his real life play justice. 85 pace, 75 shot and 81 heading. Um, he deserves probably a little bit more shot, but that pace is probably about right. Of course, if there's any other Manchester United players you want to see, the link is always down below um, to the Chuds website where you can see much more of their players. Um, on to Manchester City and we've got in goal Joe Hart. He has been upgraded by one, so an 84 overall. With 86 diving, his reflexes have gone down one, but uh, most of his stats are picking up and he will still be the overpowered knobhead. That he is most of the time. Zabaleta, 79 overall. He'll probably, a, well, I would say he'd be a rare next season, but um, Messi is apparently not going to be a rare, and rare is going to mean something completely different as to what it does this year, but I'm not too sure if that's true. Um, 81 defending and 77 head, then pick the stats on Zabaleta's card. Vincent Company, 74 pace next season. He will be a very sought after player. We're talking maybe 10, 12k. I'm saying at minimum his price will be, but he'll have 86 defending and 77 heading too. Um, Jolien Lescott as well. He will have 83 head and 84 defending. Um, bit of a downgrade from last year. You may have noticed as well, Manchester United players, a lot of them seem to get overall downgrades. Um, but their stats didn't seem to be affected that much. Well, these seem to have got a lot of, um, stat upgrades, these guys. A few of them overall, um, downgrades. But, um, yeah. Gal Clichy, 89 pace, 75 defending and 70 heading. 74 passing as well, 79 dribbling. Um, he probably does deserve a little... Um, downgrade to that. I don't think he's that good in real life. Torre, now this is a shock. I thought this guy would be an 88 overall. 85 seems very, very harsh. Um, 86 defending and 82 heading in the pick of his stats. 78 pace as well um, with um, 79 dribbling and 78 passing. Consistent player, but them stats really don't do that guy justice. That guy's the best centre mid in the world, I believe. <laughs> what am I saying? Xavi is the best centre mid in the world. This guy's best centre mid in the Premier League. Um, Gareth Barry... I feel embarrassed to be having to include him in the team. It seems like no matter how class Manchester City, Manchester City get, they've still got Gareth Barry. Um, 53 pace, 82 passing, and then he's just shit. Sami Nasri, 84 pace, um, 83 passing, 88 dribbling, and 77 shots. Downgrade from last year um, for being a traitor. 
Um, Carlos Tevez. No, we're going to... Yeah, Carlos Tevez. 83 pace, 85 shot. Insane! Um, 83 dribbling and 71 heading. David Silva. Um, you can see his cat, starred cats. Uh, starred cats. You can see his starred cats there. His card stats. You can see him on the screen. Um, 87 dribbling, 85 passing are the pick of his stats upgrade from last year. And then, the, in my opinion, one of my players of the season from the Premier League last season, Sergio Aguero, the winner of the Premier League. Um, 88 pace, 84 shot, 92 dribbling and 4-star skill. This guy will be... In my opinion, the best Premier League striker next season. Um, let me know what other teams you want to see done down below, of course. Um, thank you for watching, guys. This is Malici, and I will see you all again soon. Fuck, that was awful.